Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman, Mike and Lisa, in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. In this holy state, these two persons come now to be joined. I charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy. And the home you are establishing will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. Mike, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to her so long as you both shall live? I will. Lisa, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him so long as you both shall live? Lisa, in the name of God. Lisa, in the name of God. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all our life together. And in all our life together. To be loyal to you with my whole being. To be loyal to you with my whole being. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Mike, in the name of God. Mike, in the name of God. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. <laughs> And in all our life together, and all our life together, to be loyal to you with my whole being, loyal to you with my whole being, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. The scripture that we um, selected for this beautiful occasion is 1 Corinthians 13, one that is very familiar, one that talks about what they model today. Love. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these, is love. So I want to, to share some personal words. Um, I have enjoyed getting to know Lisa and Mike over the past several months. We've had a lot of laughs and a lot of fun times. And um, I think they have really blossomed as a couple. And I know that they enjoy being um, a new family. And it warms my soul to see them together. And I believe that they have at last, both of them, found their soulmate. Lisa and Mike, marriage is nothing new to either one of you. And you know it takes work. You know it takes lots of communication. Marriage can be a marvelous thing, but 
But you need to always remember that it takes two to make a household work. Two to make a thing go right, as the song says. Two to communicate, and as we've talked about, you must communicate. Not only about the big things, but maybe even more importantly, about the small things. We have talked about it over and over again, that communication is essential. Since in my group developed a relationship of trust and love. Allow it to continue as you go together and share your doubts, your joys, your sorrows, and your pains with one another. Never forget that you're there for each other. Lisa, today you marry Mike, but you're also becoming Elizabeth's stepmom. Mike, today you marry Lisa, but you also become Katie's stepdad. Remember that you are not taking their biological parents' place, but you're becoming yet one more nurturer for the wonderful young ladies whether they are living at home like Katie or on their own like Elizabeth, you are becoming a wounded family with all the stress and the joy that that holds. But what a privilege it is to have to strengthen the bonds of family. And there's nothing like family. Together you will forge a life and a lifestyle in which each and every one of you are comfortable with. I've already been a witness to and a test to the love that you both have for one another. Love. Mike and Lisa, it is love that's going to pull you through the difficult times. Always remember to say it and to show it. Love. If nourished, it will blossom and flourish for years. Love. I see it in Lisa's eyes as they twinkle when she looks at Mike. Love. I see it in Mike's smile when he is near Lisa. And I'm so incredibly happy for both of you, for all of you. You deserve to be happy and you deserve one another as I know you will be doting on each other and loving to your new stepdaughters. I'd like to share a poem with you as you begin your life together. It's by Edmund O'Neill. It's called Marriage Joins Two People in the Circle of Its Love. I think no truer words can be spoken. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and an emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. And there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent or a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique into themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and takes a lifetime to fulfill. My families, I am so excited about what God has planned for you and your marriage and your family ahead of time. I look forward to watching you both grow and mature in love and faithfulness to one another. Remember that marriage is not the end of love, but only the beginning. I wish you many, many years of happiness, joy, faithfulness, and love. And The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Bless, O oh Lord, the giving and receiving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in your peace and continue in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank <laughs> you.
First, much as Mike and Lisa have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and they too have pledged their, pledged their faith each to the other, have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings. I now pronounce that they are husband and wife together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put aside. Now present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Michael 